Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see how to download Yasakawa A1000 VFD simulator and see its installation procedure and understand the basic interface of the software. So first of all, we have to open our browser. Open your browser, then you have to write Yasakawa. VFD simulator. This is the free tool. Press enter. So you will see first of all there is an official website for the simulator. Click on it. The website will open like this. From here click on the software and click on request software. So here uh, we can get V1000 simulator and J1000 simulator for free. Uh, for other softwares we have to do request and all besides that why i am not using this uh, v1000 simulator because i have downloaded it and tried to do simulations so it is not allowing some features like you can't change some parameters and uh, fault frequency and all so i tried a1000 simulator uh, which is downloaded from a third party website so for that uh, let me click on the new tab here. Now I will write drive programming simulator. Software informer is the website from which I will download. So I am writing software informer over here. I have to write this keywords only so you will get direct link otherwise you will be redirected to official website only so make sure you write same keywords like me so this programming simulator download from softwareinformer.com this is the website from where i have downloaded so click on it scroll down it here you can see download button Click over here. Scanning. You can see my download has started. A zip file is downloading. I have already downloaded it. So I am just cancelling this. Friends, why I have used this simulator only? Because here in company website, there are only two V1000 simulator and J1000 simulator. In that two, uh, there are only limited things we can change. We, we can't even change the frequency also. So I have to use this simulator. This is also Yasakawa simulator, but A1000 model. So, so the advantage is we are able to do more changes in the parameters compared to these two. And the interface is also easy. Parameter setting is also easy than these two simulators. So just close your browser. Now I had already opened the location where I have downloaded it and I have extracted my zip file. So your extracted folder will appear like this. Double click over it and you will see it, it is direct setup application only. When you will double click over it, so it is starting the installation procedure. So we have to click on next button. Then accept the terms and conditions and again click on next button. So here it is the folder of C drive only. Just again click next. And now the installation has started. So you can see our installation is finished and click on finish button. So you can see a shortcut is created over here and also it is pinned to taskbar. And this is how the simulator is starting. There are the three uh, VFDs you can simulate using this software U1000, P1000 and A1000. 
So this is how the software interface looks like. Here there is a menu like new, open or a simulator button. Okay. There is a start simulator project, open project and parameter operations. So first of all, we will click on the start simulator project. So what we will do, we will create a new project or you can click from here also new. So I'm clicking over here. So this dialog box will open here. It is asking for project name. So let us write VFD one only and uh, username also you can write anything. I'm just writing VFD one and then click OK. So here it is asking for us to select the VFD model. I am not changing anything over here. This is software version. This is control method like V by F control open loop control. Right now I'm not changing anything and selecting this drive. So click over here. So it is initializing our simulator. Initialization has completed and there are the three options before us. Don't hurry to click on start simulator. First, we have to write the parameters. So here click on view and edit parameter drives. So click over here. And you can see this window will open. So as I said, it is better than V1000 and J1000 simulator. But yet here also there are some limitations. You can't use every scenarios over here. So I have tried different cases and I have experience that I can use four operations using this simulator. I am showing you here. So first operation is local digital paid operation. So if you will set these parameters, then you will be able to do local digital paid operation. Uh, let me show you if first of all, we have to change parameters. So, as I have shown over here, if you want to operate the drive from this, uh, double click over this, if you want to open drive from this keypad, okay, so you have to write these parameters. These two parameters means enable the keypad and these two parameters are for setting the frequency by default. It has 60 hertz, but uh, we are using 50 hertz in India. So accordingly, we have to change this frequency. Just by writing these four parameters, we will be able to do simulation by keypad. So I am opening my Yasakawa software. Now close this simulator. So first of all, go to B, that is B01. Here we have to, when you have to change the parameter, just double click over it and click on this list so you can see we are using digital operator okay so actually there are other options but we can't use it like mode bus and all right now we are only able to use these two things only so select this and to save click over here again as i said we have to change this parameter b102 here also we will select zero click yes then i will go to e for changing the frequency so from here e04 i am changing the frequency to 50 hertz click over here to save if this dialog box opens uh, click on accept then again here we have to change the frequency write 50.0 save red means that is changed by us and if you forget what was the initial value so here you can see by default values over here so as i as i said we have to change only four parameters so that are saved now we can open our simulator from here from here we have to switch on the main power now we will be able to operate our vfd from here so first of all, click on the run button. You can't see your motor is running. So for that, here it is written frequency reference. So click over enter. So now it is asking for frequency from us. 
to move the cursor click on this button now say for here exam from up down you can change the frequency like this so you can set any frequency between 0 to 50 hertz and then press enter so you can see our motor is running if you want to run click on run if you want to stop click on stop so motor is stop you can see from here from here you can see direction here is also direction again if you want to run or if you want to change the frequency make sure here there should be frequency reference if you have moved it like this then it won't be able to set the frequency so first uh, adjust this to this frequency reference and then click enter and then change your desired frequency by using this keypad then click on enter button and click on run button to start here you can see rpms so this is operation from keypad so similarly let us discuss the other cases here it is the jog operation here there is a start stop operation if you want to just start from one push button and stop from another push button and this is the last case that is uh, if I press one button then motor will run in forward direction and if I press another button then motor will run in reverse direction actually to use this case you don't have to change any parameter by default if you will open the software it is in this mode only uh, you can see this is the by default setting in BFD this is also the by default setting only uh, you have to change this and this is also not mandatory and uh, you have to change frequency if you want 1500 rpm and like that I will show you so I am opening this first of all make the power off then only you will be able to change the parameters then close it now click on the H button H terminal so first of all we have to change our uh, this value because we want to control through terminal so here we have to select terminal in both values you can see this is the by default value so uh, if you directly want this mode so if you directly want this mode you don't have to change these values by default it is one only then we have to go in H terminal here you can see by default it is 40 and 41 uh, as I said to make the other terminals 0F that is the not used this is not the mandatory condition you can see from here right now it is set to default values I am just opening my simulator from here switch on the main power so what you can see if I want to run the motor in the forward direction I am just uh, clicking over S1 terminal but motor is not on because from here analog input we have to give potentiometer feedback so let us say I am giving the full 10 volt so it is uh, it will run at 1500 rpm you can see from here here you can see the direction now it is 1500 rpm similarly by varying this potentiometer or you can say analog input we can adjust its rpm so this is how you can do simulation this is running as per this value now if you want to run this in reverse direction first of all we have to close this and let the motor in stop condition now click on s2 terminal so here you can see the direction is reverse from here also you can see it is reverse direction and from here you can change the analog value similarly if you want to try different cases you can use these parameters save these parameters and try to do simulations by yourself so i hope by this video you are able to understand how to use this software how to do parameter changes like by closing this and then select go to menu and from that menu you can change the parameter by clicking over it so i just suggest you to try different cases and do by yourselves that's all for this video 
If you want to learn more content like this, just show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.